Hey kids, so today is the follow on, which is the taste test. Now, I know the camera is like super duper washed out. It's so I don't bright. know enough about cameras or manual to be able to fix it, so I'm just not gonna fix it because I don't care. You guys are here Ooh. for the taste test reactions, not our pretty faces. Okay, I lie. I know you guys are kind of here for our pretty faces, but mostly here for the taste test. Now, what we are taste testing is the November Toki Tree, although which I'm probably gonna link the video directly on, so. You guys know what this You'll is. You'll know. But if, you're, watch this if you're new to this channel and you don't know how a taste test works, the way we do it is that we always go sweet and savoury, then sweet and savoury, or savoury and sweet, whichever thing we pick first. And we are tasting the currently revamped box. Yeah. So there are like a lot of bigger, bigger snacks. snacks. I think, I don't know. Like Bigger packets for sure. Yeah, definitely yeah. bigger packets for sure. I don't really know how to explain the changes i just no, know there, there was a lot of changes if you've watched the, if you haven't watched the unboxing that's also something down below to watch that but we already went over a little bit in the unboxing video but anyway let us taste the test test the taste test the taste can pick a taste any taste okay starting off let's do the jumbo chocolate he's going for the sweet yeah this is a, this is a big chocolate it doesn't weigh very much though it says it's a giant chocolate snack and it's got cold puff and peanuts in and a healthy cousin of chocolate milk. Oh babe, do you want to keep this for a Yes. Mm. Now, as you guys know, I am a packaging gremlin. I will show you guys my um, packaging, like, Scrap. scrapbook one day when it's full. But actually, you know, given the amount of snackers we get, that's not actually going to take long. So I will show you guys one day the packaging snacker book and you'll be like, oh my god, you guys have eaten that snackers. much. All these snackers, you fat oh. I want to take out the entire thing. Da, 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 yeah, oh, maybe it's, it's like biscuits. It's really light. Oh yeah, this isn't gonna hurt anyone. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> ah. Woo! Mmm. 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 It tastes healthy. Yeah, it's kind of wafery. Actually, it's not like a straight up just full. It's not a chocolate bar. It's like. Yeah, it's not full on just chocolate. As you can see, it's got stuff mm. inside it. Baby, it's focusing on your face again. Still? <laughs> but yeah, you, you can see it's got like a way free. It's kind of like the biscuit. Um, I thought when, mm. in the description, I thought it would be like solid a block, chocolate. A block, yeah. But with bits of peanuts and the wafer in it, but it's literally just a wafer I like it. covered in chocolate. It's not too much chocolate. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, it God. is leaving crumbs everywhere. We've, oh, made like, mess. we've made a mess. We'll hoover up. Tomorrow or something, it's mad. Do we have to, should we finish this or? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. should have brought my bottle. Haha. -ha. But I'm very thirsty. You're very thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm. Okay, so moving on, this is when we pick something. Um, you might as well just finish it, babe. Okay. It's like, this. Technical <laughs> difficulties. I'm just like, oh, if there's that little left, you must just eat it. Moving on, though. Let's go with something. I've got to say, I think this is savory. It is, if you would like to locate and read. <laughs> okay, don't read it. It's a Calbi Osatsu Snacko. So it's a mix of steamed and baked anno sweet potatoes. Mm. And Calbi is a good brand. I like Calbi. You're also quite big on sweet potatoes. So this I also good. like sweet potatoes. Mm. Like, I. We get good sweet potatoes here in England, but my favourite kind of sweet potato is the purple yam. Which isn't really a sweet potato, it's a yam. It's, I just like stuff in that particular <laughs> family of whatever it's my called. My favourite potato is yam. <laughs> like, what's that? Like, is it, what's it called? The family of potatoes? I don't know. They must be in some sort of vegetable family, like whatever they're called. Oh! Potato family. <laughs> I, they're an interesting shape. If you guys can see. One day I'll get like a manual clickery thing to. Oh yeah, focus, they're kind of like um, what, what are they called? Is it quavers we've got here? Oh, yeah. They taste sweet. They do. It tastes a bit like um, Asian chestnuts in a way. These are sweet. I can taste the sweet potato definitely. Mm. Actually, it kind of hits towards the end. So you kind of crunch and it's kind of like there's nothing and there's nothing. Then the sweet potato and I'm like, oh. You just feel, you just taste the sweet initially. Okay. And then you don't get like much of the. Oh, they're nice though. Yeah, quite good. Very light. 
I could easily just like shovel the full yep. packet of this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's uh, like, ah, so a nice snack. Mm. Well, moving on. <laughs> um, um. Babe. It's good. I know. I, okay. I'd like some. You don't have any. So mine. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sweet next, huh? No. That was sweet? That was savory. Yeah, so sweet next. Correct. <laughs> I got confused because it was sweet. Uh, <laughs> shall we do this thing with cola on it? Or is that a DIY? I no. have no idea. It's it looks, just, no, no, these aren't. These, um, this is one of the Dagashi items. Oh, is it? Yeah, which is... Did we have a cola one that wasn't it's Dagashi? Bit, I think it's just a cola gummy. Oh, never mind. I think. We can just do that at the end with the but other Dagashi. Cola is yum yum. Cola is yummy. What are you saying about another cola? We have, a, we have another cola flavoured thing somewhere. There it is. Yeah, Ooh. there's a small cola. Oh, actually, see that one is the cola gummy. This one might be. Something else. There it is. Vending machine cola gummy. Ah, yeah. Vending machine. Oh. Oh, I don't think we. <laughs> Did we read that out? I think we just assumed it was the gashi last video. Oh my god, yeah, I think we totally skipped that out in the last video. Well, Banter. It looks exactly like the sort of it thing that would does. be. It does. It is just vending machine color. It's literally what it looks like and what the name says. And well, uh, it's, uh oh, it's one of these packagings. Uh oh. Now, what happened when me and Evan encountered one of these packagings before is that when we pulled it off, we couldn't get them out. We had to sort of. Yeah, we out. had to like mine it. But it looks really cute. It is pretty much like in mm. a vending machine sort of configuration. Yeah. I know it's not quite focusing on this. There you go. But you guys can see it is like a vending machine configuration. How, how do and we... the packaging is like really cute as well. Oh. Like ooh. vending machine. Women of truth. Oh! oh one's come off with <laughs> okay, the film. For a second I, was I thought it was going to be like fixed. I wonder if they're different flavours if it's dark. Probably. It smells colory. Oh god, around. it's not coming out again. Teeny little gum. It's not coming out. I got it. I got it. No. Huh. You're all cola. It's what you'd expect, to be honest. It's, yeah. it's a cola gummy. It's nice, but... I wonder if the light colour tastes different, though. Off we go to find out. Please come up the packet. Oh no, they're so hard. Uh... Oh, I think... I feel so they must be, like, pressed, like... You know, in the conveyor belt, yeah. you know what I mean? When it's like, when it's like, just like press and insert, like, and shot in, and then it's like permanently stuck. Hmm. Cola as well? I don't know. I feel I'm like trying I to say something else, but. Yeah, maybe I might be just trying to say something else. I'm trying to tell if I'm imagining something else or tasting something else. I'm gonna eat another one. A small can. Come to me, my son. Come to me, my son! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I need a big can. Mm. I don't know. Cola gummies are pretty just good anyway. Yeah. I'm mostly used to them coming as like the Haribo style. Yeah, exactly. With the fizzy stuff on it already. I prefer just like this because I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're just on the move for fizzy stuff. You put it over there or? Okay. Next, it is something Savara. Good then. Oh, yeah. Mm. I was going to go for this, but I know you're going to want to do that. So I'm gonna go with my veggie ones. Oh, I'm going with like a Calbee trend right now. Calbee. This is another Calbee one. I already kind of have an idea of what this will taste like already because um, my big sis got something similar to this, which was also Calbee brand, mm -hmm. interestingly. Yeah. And this is supposed to be kind of healthy, but y'all know snacks are never actually healthy, but who cares? Eat everything in moderation. Food tastes good, basically, is what I say. We're all gonna die anyway. You must see what you want. <laughs> <laughs> but be kind of healthy, kids. But be kind of healthy. <laughs> I know we, advice. I know we do taste tests. Oh no, I've already dropped some. She's dropping chips. They look like French fries. Oh! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> they look like, pretty much just look like the French fry crisps. But there was like, I don't know if you guys can see, but they've got like little veggie bits because this has got like beet in it. Um, what else has it got in it? It's got stuff like beet, spanch, carrot, pumpkin, and red bell pepper. And it's tasty. Oh! It just tastes kind of similar to what I think it was, but different. Mm -hmm. It's good though. It is nice, yeah. It's I like, like the salted chips with it's vegetables. Like, it is more healthy than your standard snackers, but it doesn't taste healthy. It will still you know kill I mean. you. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Um, I like it. Uh, oh, oh. I was just about to say, it's the sort of thing that makes you want to grab like five at once as well. I don't know why you're trying to take your self-control. Because look at me with my individual chips. We all know on the channel that Evan actually has no self-control. 
Do they though? <laughs> I don't know. What you guys like? What impression have you guys gotten of Evan from him being briefly on my channel every now and again? Like, um, let us know down below what you think of Evan. <laughs> Please be nice. You can you can tell the truth, guys. I know he's a little bitch. Um, <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Okay. I really like these. We could do with more than, more more packets of these. Definitely. Mm. It's a yes from me. So big sis, you know what to do. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> That's the thing, because my big sister lives in Hawaii, and obviously there's a huge Asian population there. So they have access to all the Japanese stores and stuff that we don't have here. So whenever I come across a snacker that I like, I always ask her if she can find it and if she can get it for me. But not the chewy senbei somehow. No, because we both hate that stuff. We both agree <laughs> that senbei should be crunchy <laughs> and not chewy, okay? <laughs> like, ew. You're all scared. Uh, sweet next, right? Sweet is my area of expertise, I think. Agree. Are these kind of sweet, Choco? Okay. You're kind of sweet. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Next up, Choco cereal flaky things. Choco flakes. They just remind me of like... Rice Krispie Yeah, they're Rice Krispie Kids, like I said. How it feels. But a single puff balls. Mm -hmm. Not like in a chunk chunk. It says Choco flakes in English all over the back. It's Kinnaker, so it's got the soy flavour. They... Japanese oh. really like their soy flavour, oh, though, babe. This is Crepes, that was close. I was just like, what are you trying to do to my precious packaging? <laughs> Honestly, like, I swear Japan gets the really nice good packaging design for food snackers. Mm -hmm. In England, it's just like, plain whoa, logo on you, the front. The minute that opened, I got hit in the face by the soy. Like, straight up, you Ooh, can smell the soy straight yeah. away. And it doesn't. They're bigger than I thought. Yeah, they it look looks like popcorn. They look different to what I thought they would look like. Like, the, the front shows lots of little yeah. granules, so yeah. So I kind of assume they'll be small, a little bit smaller. Not as small as like Rice Krispie size, but a bit smaller. You can really smell the soy though. It does look like popcorn. It tastes like it, but with a soy undertone. I'm so confused. Why? Is it chocolate? Is it soy? No, chocolate and soy. What? <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. I'm kind of like. Yep, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> because I like things to be sweeter. Like, uh -huh. this isn't sweet enough for me. It's kind of subtle and I like it, though. Oh. Mm. I mean, it's good. I'm hitting the soy a lot more than the chocolate, though. Yeah. I think that's why I'm, I, I went in expecting more chocolate. Oh, well, I am getting chocolate in occasionally. I like Definitely to... more soy, though. Mmm. Mm. There's not a thick layer of chocolate on the outside as I thought there would be. But these are Moorish. That's yeah. dangerous things I've noticed about a lot of Japanese snacks. They're light, they're they Moorish. They are so Moorish, it's dangerous. you could eat them in seconds. Yeah. Oh, that was good though. Um, that was good. I like it. Oh. I don't know why I packed this. <laughs> that was a DIY kit for anyone who was wondering. <laughs> I mean, it actually looks quite easy. We could do it now. Yeah, we could also do it in the the palooza, the, the lala palooza bonanza bonanza. My foot's cold. Cold. Yeah, you guys can see, but my leg was just like strewn across here. <laughs> like you guys a know I'm weirdly flexible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got cold, so I'm just sticking it in the. Crook you're trying to wedge it into my leg. <laughs> I'm putting it in the crook of your knee. It's cold. Okay, next is savoir. savory. So let's just go with the my boss dig. It's a no, cute. Not, what? Not, not these. We could, well, let's do that. It doesn't matter. But this is an umaiba stick, you guys know we like umaiba sticks. We though. really do, oh my word. This is a Doraemon one, and I have so much packaging of umaiba sticks, but... We saw a uh, cake maker with a Doraemon cake in the window It earlier, was really actually. cute. It was quite funny, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, I think it was a fake cake, but it was still cute nonetheless. Fake anyway, cake? I think this fake one news? this one is a, a cheese umaiba, so... Cheese. That's interesting, because I know in Japan they don't really have... Cheese. Straight cheese. They have the cheese Whoa, cake. That's strong cheese. I don't think they really have much cheese products, as in like straight up cheese. Mm. But the cheesecake, so they only have it in the form of sweet desserts. And it looks it looks cheesy. It's very like good. I know it's like highly washed out on the camera right now, but yeah, it's you guys can see. You guys can't see because it's not focusing. But yeah, it's like really bright. She bites. It's like a giant what's it. <laughs> if anyone knows what's it. Yeah, actually, what's this are kind of a British thing, aren't they? I haven't had Watsits in years, but it tastes like a giant Watsit. Exactly like a giant Watsit, in yeah. fact, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I think Watsit is just a British thing. Maybe. I don't think I've ever really heard of it in America Cheetos, or whatever. They have Cheetos. Oh right. yeah, they have Cheetos. I guess it's like, but I think Cheetos also taste different. Maybe. I've, had I've never had Cheetos. When I was very young. Never had Cheetos. Yeah. Mm -mm. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was weird. 
strangely familiar taste. Mm. Yeah, because it tastes like what? Um, yeah. An old What's friend. It? Ew. He's been like fermenting. <laughs> hey, nice to see you. I've been fermenting all this time. Gross. Um. Now for something sweat. I don't mind. Let's just do the pocky. We all sort of know what to expect. This is Chez pocky. Chez, is it? Is it? It's fromage. Fromage. It's oh. one of the thick ones. The this packaging's is, really fancy. This fancy. is double fromage with 3.2, very specific, 3.2 times more the chocolate layer than the standard kind like, of pocky. It's got a nice like flap open. I like that actually. It's fancy. Yeah, it's annoying though because it makes a half of me to, like press no. down when I put it in my book. And they come in three ones and you only get four per sa per here, put this aside. Per sache. Sachet. Sachet. Sachet away. <laughs> Literally. Do you want me to Next season of RuPaul when? <laughs> I guess you can just open it. Yeah. I'm, just uh, I'm not going to save this kind of packaging. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Today on Andy Card. Oh, there we go. Andy Can. Andy it's not, Can. It's not Andy it's Can. It's not called Andy Can. It's Andy Can. <laughs> These are thick. They are. They smell cheesy. They do smell cheesy. But not in a bad way. They do not taste cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe we're just smelling residual, like, giant what's it. <laughs> On our fingers, maybe, yeah. I can't tell now. Ah! I think we're smelling residual what's it. I like these, though. Mm. Oh, mine's got no stick. The stick's it the sticks fell off. <laughs> mm. You don't really taste the cheese. No, I don't taste it much. But I think after we ate the giant what's it, nothing tastes cheese. Nothing tastes cheesy. <laughs> I could eat a block of cheddar right now and it'd just be, like, fat. <laughs> I've eaten so much cheese in the past few days. Swam fat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kind of ish on Pocky right now. Oh yeah, because you ate at Comic Con. I bought this bucket if anyone saw the vlog, and like maybe about seven out of ten of the contents inside were all Pocky sort of related mm. snacks or like stick snacks. So I'm just kind of like, I've had my fill of biscuity snack sticks. Okay, we're well, moving on to mm. more savara, and this but, is but, but, squid. But, but, but. This just looks like they might be squid crackers or cuttlefish. It's actually called squid crackers in the leaflet thing. Ah. Yeah. Although it's packaged weirdly, as you guys can see, usually I would just cut across the top. Well, I, won't, I am going to cut across the top here, but you can see it's still on like, the horizontal side. So. Oh! Fancy, yeah. even though the text isn't going that way. Exactly, it's weird. Oh well, Bloody. I won't question it. As long as it tastes good, it can. It's kind of a retro looking bag, actually. It is, it's mm. kind of old fashioned y looking. Oh. Ooh, that's a very strong mm. cuttlefish smell. Tis. It smells it looks, like the sea. It looks like um, a sort of shape I've seen before in sort of soy crack in the, I don't know, one of the soy sauce sort of cracker thingy, degashi kind of shape things. I know it's not focusing too well, but you guys can kind of tell. Well, show, just hold the up, I guess. In a second. The cats are going to love it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's got the same texture as the soy sauce degashi in the small bags you get. It doesn't taste as fishy as I thought it would. I Me mean, neither, it doesn't taste as fishy as it smells, but... It smells way As we learned recently, taste. they add fragrance to snacks. Yeah! I'm aware. <laughs> Conspiracy theorists eat your heart out. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Uh-huh. But it honestly never occurred to me. These are really crunchy. They are really you crunchy. Have to, you bite down and it's like... <laughs> Good crunchy, though. Good crunchy, for sure. As she, she shovels too into her mouth. No, I only shovel one. Oh, I see. I'm a refined lady. <laughs> Watch out for ASMR starring these. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Would you guys ever be interested in an ASMR style <laughs> taste test video? <laughs> we don't narrate, we just... Have you seen that lady who like... Because she's got the same microphone as me. And I remember seeing a video of her eating like celery or something. Oh. On Facebook. Next to the mic. And it was really, really crunchy. And I was like... Because <laughs> I'm not into that kind of stuff really. <laughs> Mm. But I know I have wow. made one or two ASMR videos before. Just because you I can, can hit those up. <laughs> Double up. Where's my jingling of my collar bells? Which is cute. Should right. we? Should we? Should we? Should we? Oh, what should we do? You want the drink? She wants the drink. It's Kirin. Kirin is also a good brand. But you know. would drink. Da 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 drink. And this is mint chocoa. And I'm having the first glow. Okay. <laughs> I'm having the first. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, babe, you've been excited for this. It's mint milk tea, and I like milk tea because milk yep. tea is peace tea. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was a pun I made up on the spot, and I hate myself. <laughs> Drink away your sorrows. <laughs> Air it up. 
That's that's a ten. No. <laughs> Edit that out. No. <laughs> well, it's like with wine, you still have to aerate it, and it improves the flavor of it. it tastes good though. Could be more minty. Uh, 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 love because it. I this love it. Perfect. Those. It's like minty and smooth and light. Like it's like drinking a minty breeze. I, I want it. a milkshake. I had a chocolate milkshake earlier with cream and marshmallows. Hmm. And the cats at the cat cafe were very interested. It's a good flavor, but I would definitely say it could be heavier. For me personally. It tastes kind of like After Eights. Oh, I mean, kind of, but not really. After Eights is more like mint! <laughs> you know? Mint! <laughs> I, think, I don't know if After Eights is a British thing. Oh, it's dark chocolate with um, a minty filling is, is After Eights. It's delicious. Mm. Very refined. And you're only allowed to have them after eight or you'll die. It's, well, it's a well-known fact, they don't actually stock them on the shelves until after 8 as well. And if you <laughs> eat one, like, before 8, the police will break down your door, come in and arrest you. <laughs> like, it's serious business. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> For any nice. Americans who get their hands on after 8, yes, if you eat them in America before 8, the British popo will we'll come find you. <laughs> and they will arrest you. <laughs> still under a There's no putting it off any longer. You may have noticed this giant bag I flashed earlier. It are... is super light rice crackers and it's wagashi. And it's also a brand that I conveniently happen to have liked every snack we've tried from so far. It's Nigata Brown, which is Nigata. where the weird chewy senbei came, came from. And I'm just like, you, chewy senbei? I, every day I dream about this senbei still. So gross, and apparently it's got dashi soy sauce and ginger for a zesty twist. Oh, look, it says Nigata uh. rice snack across the top. They also did the cinnamon uh, wafery things, which I also loved. Cinnamon wafery. So I'm kind of going into this with high expectations. <sighs> Please don't let me down, Nick <laughs> It's like, from all our tastes, we've both found brands we both really enjoy. Uh -huh. One day they'll like find out and face off on the television and stuff. Yeah. And they'll be like, best to like this, we must compete <laughs> <laughs> to be the superior brand. Ooh, they certainly look light and airy as the description says. Which means I'm going to just shovel this down in scoops. <laughs> like, let's take one to start with. Take one, such self-control. Oh. They've done it again. It's mm. tasty. I can't tell what it tastes of, mine. Oh, that's weird. so good. Mm -hmm. It's like a meal taste. It tastes mm. like a meal, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's A lot it's of like, flavors coming together at once. Yeah. It tastes like a full meal. It's like in Willy Wonka where they have the... Oh yeah! Whatever that thing like is. Like a gobstop and a taste yeah, of roast dinner Yeah, taste of roast dinner. It's like that. It really is. It's kind of like... It's not unpleasant, mind. It's just like having a spoonful of like meat and rice or something. I think once. it just really reminds me of like some Asian dish I've had with like the soy sauce at some point. Very big, aren't I? <laughs> These are awesome. Mm. They're really, really thin, like really wafery. It melts on your tongue. Um. Like I'm not even using my teeth to chew <laughs> these sometimes. I'm just crunching Ew. it. Ew! <laughs> Got rid of my mouth. <laughs> if there's any Nagata, uh Employees. out there if please. you would like to uh, please get in touch with me get some PR from us <laughs> and you want us to do tastings of your products I we all know where to find those no. I'll stand outside with the sandwich boards on <laughs> go to Japan buy Nikata <laughs> they're good I think we should probably move on <laughs> yeah. tastes like a meal I haven't eaten dinner yet ah. so this is kind of welcome right now you know might just get some sashimi Ooh. very good yeah, now, yeah. back to the realm of something sweet. I don't think this is sweet. I think this might be half, half sweet. We could do the Rumine. Nah, I'm gonna go <laughs> with Mishmallow, which is the Degashi. Yeah, there's not much left. Huh? Mishmallow is good. I like Mishmallows. I don't really tend to eat them that much because it's my bro who likes the Mishmallows the most. Marshmallows, for anyone who's wondering. I tend to butcher words. But if you guys watch my channel enough, y'all know how I speak and you can figure out what I say, even though I'm pretty sure my British accent must confuse some of you guys. Marshmallow! I don't know, we don't speak posh- We're not going to have marshmallow now. Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, darling. What are you doing? No! Stop! Yes. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's tasty. It's a marshmallow. Classic marshmallow. Mm, it, it is just, just a marshmallow. So. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'll know marshmallow. You like, you like marshmallow. Yeah, marshmallows are the kind of so. My favorite kind of marshmallow is where you get to melt it. Mm. This one wasn't that kind. I have set many a flame doing that. <laughs> no regrets. Okay, well that was nice. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Um, should we do whatever this is? That, I think that is the chestnut yokan, if you want to show them. 
Yeah, I think it's a baked sweet potato uh, yolk can, although I'm not quite sure what that is. Me neither. Let's find out. But it's got sweet potato in it. It sounds like it's loose. I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be like a block. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, I would have just like cut it anyhow hard and spilled it to everyone be like, yeah, no, but... oh, okay, so, so you guys can see, it looks Is it like the tiny nothing sort of... like I thought it would look like. Like there's little bits of like, let's see if I can shake some of my hand and show you guys a bit better. But it looks like trail mix. Yeah, it hides behind hands. You can't see it in the mud. Oh, it does. Yeah, it looks weird, right? There's like different shapes in going oh. on in there. I don't think this is what it says it is. Or is it? Oh yeah! Okay, so one of the things was it says is that wow. items are subject to change depending on availability. This is not the Yokan, because we don't have the Yokan. <laughs> I don't know what we had instead of the Yokan, but we don't have it. Soba messy, it says. We've got yakisoba sauce snack. It's really strong. It's powerful. Oh my god, I'm beginning to think we <coughs> didn't get <coughs> We didn't get the big soup potato yolk. <laughs> <laughs> it is tasty, however. We didn't get the yolk, babe. Chill. These like. <laughs> I feel denied of a snacker, whoa. you guys. Whoa! 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 No! 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 I can't believe we don't have the yolk. <laughs> <laughs> Because that would definitely would have come in a block. Oh well. You talk about the taste, babe. It's a taster. Hmm. It did say the items were subject to change depending on availability, but I don't see what we were compensated with, babe. Can it you doesn't... treat answer me? For everyone wondering about the flavour, <laughs> it's delicious. It's, it's yakisoba flavour. It's yakisoba. It tastes like just chugging yakisoba, but like you have to crunch it to. to yeah. Babe's just like having the whole packet, but that's okay. Ah! <laughs> 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 well. Okay. Did you finish it? Yep. There's like nothing left when you did that. Okay, now we gotta do something sweet. I've just got a collection of pre or packaging here. And I've got a collection of un unfinished things over there. <coughs> but I'll be like flat packing it later and putting it into That's a bag. Just, we've got a sad little cola, cola gummy to do. So. He's a very sad boy. He is, he's all on his own and he's quite a small packet. All by myself. I'm still gonna save this packaging though. Will live on forever. Yeah, little packaging or big packaging, they're all welcome. No discrimination, they're all good. <laughs> the they all go into book. the collection. <laughs> These scissors aren't that good. Yeah, I don't think they're meant for this sort of thing. What are they meant for? Brutalizing. Well, I brutalized the packaging a little bit. Yeah. I, the other scissors were all like old and dirty, so I didn't think we'd want to use those. Oh, it's wow. fat! What kind of cola bottle looks like this? <laughs> it's a fat bottle. Look at this fat, <laughs> That's when, like this fat yeah, thing. When you get an like... image and you like scale it down from the top, like the middle bits, <laughs> like, not the diagonal. The <laughs> uh, can I like bite the rest? Can you? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> I think I got most of it. It tastes different to the other kind. It does. Mm. It's kind of not as, not as colory. Mm. <laughs> we both got that. Like it's it's colory, but not as colory. Not as colory. <laughs> Still good though. Mm. I like it, but like I feel like that's the sort of thing you shouldn't package individually, you know? Because no, that's the gashi though. The gashi mm. is penny candy. Oh, penny candy, right? Mm -hmm. I know now because Big Sis told me. So now I am informed. <laughs> Be, stay smart. <laughs> stay informed. Okay, fair news then. Anyway. Now we're on to, well I don't know if this is savoury or now, but we're going to find out. It says it is Pret Mild Roast Flavour. Oh, it's a subtly sweet biscuit snack with extra calcium. Calcium. Oh yeah. And this was where we learned that they add scent. I don't know where it is. <laughs> anyway, I know it cut off, but this is where I was saying where we found out how, found out that things apparently include scent. Because it said, Pret Mild Series uses no artificial colouring, no scent to the snack, making it a healthy snack alternative. And there's a face on the front going. <coughs> it's healthy. Which is. <laughs> right, let's get this up on. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. It's a packet within a box. It's a packet within a box. Why do they keep doing this? It's a box within a packet. Dun, dun, Nobody dun. knows what to expect. The snacks keep you on your guard. Now, Pretz is not the one with the dip bit, it's just like a stick. Aww. 
It is a stick boy. I'm used to pret sushi being in savory flavors. Whoa. Whoa. What the? Oh, I like this. I don't. <laughs> Never mind. That's me for this video. Thanks, guys. I think this is like. Ugh. What do you mean, ugh? Ugh. But you need more calcium for your bones, babe. I. Undeniably, I need more calcium, but I don't want to have to like. Evan, finish your pretz. <laughs> <laughs> no, mom. It tastes good. It does not taste good. It's quite strong, and it tastes of. I really? Suppose, that's my old This is subtly sweet. <laughs> More for me then. <laughs> yes. Um, 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 no. Okay, on to the last item. On to the last item. Which, as the observant among you may know, is the strawberry remune, which I sort <laughs> of mentioned earlier and was crudely shot down. <laughs> oh, how must I open this? Let's see if Evan can figure out how to open the packaging. How do I open this? Brutally? Yeah, of course. Oh dear, this is not meant to come off. It's off anyway. I like how the lid is sort of reminiscent of the ball that you've got to stab in. Well, obviously because it is more than after a removing bottle, but I'm just saying, I have a little detail. Okay. And use it to hold your powder cracking. What? <coughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me some drugs. I'm kidding. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you got three. Um. No. Mmm. Mmm. Remember candy is like such a classic Japanese Some point. candy. Apparently this is quite a new flavour though. Nice and like powdery, kind of slowly dissolving in your mouth like a bath. Yeah, it's a new thing. strawberry variety. I like it. Although I kind I also of like it. expected it to be more strawberry. Yeah, it's kind of mild until you bite it. Even after I bit it. Mmm. It's a gentle embrace of strawberry though. The strawberry is like... <laughs> Which is why you ch 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 chug the whole thing. Don't then... chug all the candies, baby. I'm not, I'm not. I just love Put candy. Lid back on. I love candy. Mm. And thus, that brings us to the end of this video. Mm. And at this point, we choose our favorite sweet and our favorite savory item. What was your favorite sweet item? Uh. Hmm. The chocolate we started at the beginning with was quite good, but like. Mm, that was okay. That was. Mm, I don't know what counts as sweet and savory now, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> I think the chocolate, is these kind of sweet? That was sweet. I like these sort of deceptively a lot. Mm. Because, I don't know, something about them just kept me eating them. And like, if, if we didn't have a video to record, I think I could have just sort of sat there and spaced out and just carried on like shoveling them into my mouth. But like, they didn't taste very chocolatey, but they were still delicious, you know? Confusing. Very mm. confusing, yeah. Okay, so I don't know. In terms of sweet stuff, mm. I liked everything, Miss Great, yeah, I should say. I did quite like Except everything. Those. <laughs> Except those. Except these well. <laughs> Right until the end, we were going good. <laughs> I'm actually going to go with the vending machine cola gummy for my favourite sweet. Oh. They're quite, they were quite nice because I get really confused when the lines, the lines do get a little bit blurred with Japanese snacks sometimes where you have savoury items which taste sweet as well. So it's a little bit confusing. I tend to just class those as savoury. So when I go sweet, I go. I tend to go with the direct actual candy okay. sweet thingies. But I really like the. I did like the vending. They machine. were good, yeah. Sometimes like gummies just hit the spot, like you know, you know what I mean. You know <laughs> what like, I mean. I want some gummies. Yeah, they just hit the spot, and they were like, the right kind of firmness for gummy. Like no, but <laughs> a when, well, a thoroughbred but when gummy. you when you want a gummy, you don't want like a mushy thing, but you don't want something which is like biting into a sort of slightly playable rock, right? You want something which has got a good amount of mm. chew. I'm a gummy connoisseur. Uh huh. Well, no, as for no, favorite no, no, no. savory, mm, well, it's not gonna shock anyone, I guess. But like, I'm gonna have to say these because, like, wow, you know, it, as as Trina, like said, it's like a meal, you know. It's yeah, I have to go with that as well. That was actually su like even the smell. It's just, really oh. surprisingly like <gasps> it was unexpected. Like I knew it would be good anyway, but I didn't expect like how it would actually taste mm. overall. But to be honest, like it's been a strong lineup because like. The squid stuff was really nice, the crackers. And I thought these were like a close second actually as well. These are really nice. These are um, healthy, good tasting. You can sort of taste a bit of pepper and stuff inside some of them. I thought that was quite impressive. And I shall have another. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't forget to do this video. A bit. Thumbs up if you enjoyed watching us do a taste test. If you have any weird requests for taste tests, let us know down below because we can try and find it, do some weird taste tests. Mm. I'm thinking of maybe doing a series one day where I call it taste tests around the world. 
and we can get snackers from each different countries and you guys can suggest us snackers from different countries that you want to check. Oh, really cool. That yeah. we can try and get. Or if you guys have any snackers you might want to send us, let me know. I don't have a PO box, but if you talk to me, get to know me, I might give out my address. You can have mine any day. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys can have that's, Evans, that's, that's fine. That's where we are right now. <laughs> if you guys are subscribed to this box, let us know what you think of the revamped version. Did you enjoy the five hours more? Did you actually get the um? What was it that we're missing? Oh yeah, a <laughs> yoga. Yeah. Did you I'm get? Still, like, did you get our yoga? I'm upset. <laughs> Who got? Someone out there got two yoga and one of them is ours. Angry, mm. angry. <laughs> but our thing is, let us know what you guys think because I think they upgraded it to be so it was more shareable. We already shared our snackers together anyway so this was like a mm. welcome thing like it was. bigger packets more shareability it actually worked out so there's no well. like if you guys prefer that i mean even if i was someone having the crate by myself i would enjoy that anyway because bigger more, packets, more stuff, yeah. yeah bigger packets <laughs> and all that and if you guys want to get your hands on this i do have a referral code down below which gets you five dollars off your first box and if you're smart you can subscribe and unsubscribe each month to get five dollars off consistently each month but i do believe there is a 10 percent discount go code going which is we love tt caps or whatever i think it's up there so in the description. <laughs> <laughs> but all you can use my referral code because you guys love me and i get you know credits for that so, yeah <laughs> <clears throat> and if you're subscribed and you'd like to be, hit that subscribe button and join the family of kittens. Meow, because yes, we're adorable. All my social media links are down below. Check that out if you would like. Instagram is my most active. And if you're subscribed to my Instagram, you've already seen a sneak peek of this video because you know we like to get a little meta on this channel. <laughs> and if you like, please put my Patreon. Just one dollar goes a long way. Wow. I appreciate it very, very much. What are you laughing for? You're squeezing my face and stuff uh, in your outro. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? 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 I can multitask unlike you. Bye. Uh, I'm not done. <laughs> not done now. And as always, hope you guys enjoy. There we go. Bye. Oh, I can't reach. Oh god. <laughs> click the circular channel icon to subscribe. To watch more videos, click any of the videos down below. See you in my next one.